Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Saturday. It's the 22nd of August, 2020. Going to look at the ninth race from the spot, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. Ninth race from Saratoga, it is the Four Star Dave Handicap. It's a great one event going for a purse $400,000. Race for three rolls and upwards. Nine of them are going to the inner turf course, a distance of ground of 1,600 meters or a mile on that inner turf course uh this might be one of the best races of the saratoga meeting um you know because i think i'm giving you a superfecta any of these four horses i think can win so, but as a top selection we'll take the seven horse valid point we'll go seven three one four in the superfecta seven three one four super use all four of them and maybe even more in the pick four or the multi-race scenario but we'll start off with the top selection seven horse valid point this four-year-old called by scat daddy chad brown trains javier castellano gets the mount the horse's most recent out came the fourth of july at goldstream one mile uh, excuse me july 4th at belmont one mile in the poker stakes, and he finished eighth by six and a half lengths, and he had a stupidly troubled trip. He could never quicken up, never got clean trip in the straightaway. It wasn't the day to win. Coming here second off the break, hopefully a lot cleaner trip. I'm going to give him a shot. Two back, he ran the Shadow Old Turf Mile at Keeneland, one mile October the 5th, first time facing all the horses. He finished tenth by three lengths there, and again, he didn't have the best of trips again and can never quicken up late it wasn't his day to win as the favorite Bo's hero just freaked that day but before then the secretariat at Arlington one mile he uh, won by length he snapped back early great turn of foot and he circled the field that was a very good easy easy victory and then before that at Belmont in June of 2019 one mile on the wider and optional 80 he won by three and a half lengths he stalked he got the lead and then did everything right if it's just closer that should be very good um, you know if he gets a good clean trip that should be even better 12 to 1 I think he's on the up and up another horse I think is on the up and up why fiddled with uh, putting him as a top selection will be the three horse uh, Amos this um, six year old gelding by Invisible Spear Connor Murphy trains Jose Lascano who's having a under the radar good uh, Saratoga meeting gets the mounts most recently the makers Mark Mile at Keeneland this horse he finished fifth by length but he showed you know some ability closing up well he stayed the trip it was an all out finish that day but he ran decently before then the wise Dan at Saratoga at uh, excuse me Churchill going mile 16th finished fifth by one three quarter lengths there he didn't break all that well a little lax stays on the stretch but I, again, I've seen a lot worse races and a lot better races. But, you know, it, 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 shall we say it was a little bit towards the better side of races. And then before that, Fairgrounds, mile 16th and Ops Lady, he won by one and three quarter lengths. Lesser quality horses, he got the job done. His buyer numbers, as of recently, have been up to par with some of these horses. At 15 to 1, he's been on the up and up. I think he's uh, knocking on door to get a good run here. The one horse, Raging Bull, nearly won that Baker's Mark Mile. He, he ran a terrific race there. Before that, he won the Shoemaker Mile very easily. You know, he's done well here at Saratoga. He could also win. And I think Four Horse um, got Stormy, won this race last year on a week uh, break. Um, you know, might be on the up and up. She's been training very good. And back to Saratoga, where she loves this turf course. At 8 to 1, we'll use her as a price play. But to recap my selection, for the ninth from Saratoga. It's the four star Dave Handicap, the grade one four star Dave Handicap, named after a very incredible horse. We'll go with the as a top selection, the seven horse valid point. Also give kudos to the three horse Amos as my price play. We'll go seven three one four in the Superfecta, seven three one four also in the multi race. So good luck to all and please follow me on Twitter at horse racing get five. Good luck everybody.